I'm Matt with E-Trailer, and today we're talking about the Titan Chains tire chains with twist links on our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. And our tire size today is going to be 275, 65, or 20, and we're going to have this on our rear axle as what the manual recommends. So let's check it out. This is going to be a great set of chains. If you're looking for something that's going to get you through anything that's moderate to extreme conditions, and they're going to be relatively pretty low profile for what they are. So what's going to give you that extra bite through snow and ice is going to be this twist link design of our chains. Now they're not going to be super aggressive like some of our V-bar or square link designs, but it's also going to help us sit more low profile. They're also going to be made of a low carbon steel, so they're going to be pretty durable when you're driving on the roads. Well, it's going to have this ladder pattern design and that ladder pattern design is going to assist with giving you more traction when you're starting and stopping. And at the very bottom, we're going to have this lever. And what that lever is going to do is help get a little bit of slack out of this chain when you're driving down the road. Now what I do recommend is investing in a rubber tensioner to help also alleviate some of that slack. This kit is going to come in a set of two and it's going to come in this pretty light duty bag. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the bag personally, and that's just because, like I said, it's light duty, and these chains are a little bit more bulky, so what's probably gonna happen is, after a few uses, they're really gonna start to tear through this bag. So what I suggest doing is just investing in a small tote to keep your chains in. Overall, I think this is gonna be a great option for you if you're looking for something that's gonna get you through more moderate snow and ice conditions. Now, if there is a lot more ice buildup and you need more bite through that ice, what I suggest doing is investing in some square link chains we have on our website or some ones with V-bars on them. We have plenty of options on our website, but if you're just trying to get through those moderate snow and ice conditions, then I think this is gonna do you just fine. As far as getting them on, if you're curious about how we did it, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through the process. To begin our installation, I recommend grabbing some gloves to make this a lot easier. And if you are doing this for the first time, I recommend staying at home because you don't want to put these on for the first time in the middle of a blizzard on the side of the road. But what we're going to be looking for is if there's any damages to our links. Nothing scuffed up, there's no cracks, the welds look good. And if that looks good, we're going to look over here at our hooks. We want to make sure this is in the right orientation and that's going to be facing up. So it's away from our tire. And then we're going to take a closer look at this lever on this other side. And what we're looking for here is this to be closest to me. If it's closest to your tire, just flip it around, then you should be good. We're going to grab our chains now in the center and lift up and drape it over our tire. I recommend just kind of putting it on like this. You notice it's hanging down pretty low. I like to lift up here so it doesn't uh, drag across that rim and scratch anything up. And what my main objective at this point is make sure everything's even, nothing's hanging down too low, and everything's going to be really easy to grab on the front and back side of our tire. And speaking of the back side, we're going to make our first connection here. What's nice about this truck is since it is pretty large, it's going to be a lot easier to do this. And what we're trying to do is just hook this metal hook through one of these links hanging off to the side and this might take you a few tries and that's just because we want to make sure there's going to be even tension on either side so if you tighten this up too much you might have to loosen it up so that both sides are even. The connection on the front is going to be a little bit different so what we're going to do instead this time is fit this lever through one of these links that are hanging off to the side and push it down so apply some pressure this hook on the other side of it is going to connect to this link hanging off to secure it down. What I recommend doing at this point is just coming back through and kind of pulling on it, making sure everything feels pretty snug. And what I recommend doing now is just grabbing a rubber tensioner. Now this isn't required, but what this is going to do is draw any of that excess slack out of our chains, which is actually going to be really common for when you're driving because these are naturally going to want to loosen up some. So this is going to help alleviate that. The way I recommend putting these on too is in a star pattern. 
with those hooks furthest away from your tire, looking more like this. Because if they're facing the opposite direction, they could puncture that tire. Then you can repeat that same process on the other side. And afterwards, I recommend either just pulling forward or backing up some to make sure everything's seating properly. And if it is, you can hit the road. But that's just a look at the Titan Chains tire chains with twist links on our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. Thanks for watching.